Murph AI. Hello, and welcome to Murph Academy videos. In this video, we'll see how a voiceover can be generated from a script and how it can be made to sound more natural. Once your script is imported and structured, click on the block to see all the voice customization options available in the top panel. To change the voice used in your voiceover, click on the voice selector menu. The menu here displays the icon and the name of the voice that's selected. Since the default voice of the studio is Nate, the menu displays the icon and the name of the default voice. This will change when you select a different voice for your voiceover. You can also access different voices through the Explore AI Voices menu. Here, you'll see a selection of voices that are available in different languages, accents, genders, and age groups. You can use these filters to find a voice that is best suited for your use case. The voice customization options or voice settings help you control the delivery and the pace of the voiceover. If you'd like your voiceover to have a specific tone or emotion, click on the voice styles menu to choose from all different voice styles available for the voice. To control the pitch of the voice, click on pitch, then move the slider to increase or decrease the pitch of your voice. This helps you in improving the tonality of your voiceover. For example, increasing the pitch of your voice will make your voiceover sound more cheerful or pleasant. Whereas, decreasing the pitch will add depth to your voiceover and make it sound more serious. This feature is also useful for users who are looking for gaming and animation voices, where the studio voices can be modified to sound like characters from cartoons and animations. If you already have a voice in mind for your voiceover, you can get a closer match to the voice by adjusting the pitch. Similarly, you can adjust the speed of your block by moving the slider either to the right or to the left to increase or decrease the speed. The speed can be decreased or increased up to 50% of the original speed. In addition to the speed setting, the pause feature also helps you in setting the right pace for your voiceover. Pauses can be added anywhere in a script so that your listeners can take a breather. This helps your voiceover have an even pace and sound more relaxed and natural. The feature supports default pauses of different durations. You also have the option of adding pauses of custom durations to help you have a better control over the pacing of your voiceover. The settings above are applied only to the block that is selected. These settings can also be applied to other blocks using the Copy Block Settings option from the Block Options menu. Choose the block you'd like to apply the same settings to and select Paste Block Settings. Please note that pronunciations, emphasis, and pauses do not get copied. However, all the other customization options are copied when you duplicate the block except for pronunciations. To apply these settings to the entire project, apply settings to project. When this option is selected, the voice, tone, speed, and pitch settings are applied to the whole project. You can select the settings that you do not wish to apply in the prompt here. Let us now look at the two customization features available within the subblocks. First is the emphasis feature, which lets you emphasize a particular word in a sentence. Hover over the pop-up icon next to the play button to access the emphasis feature. You can now add or reduce the emphasis on specific words in your sentence by moving the nodes up and down the graph to increase or decrease the emphasis on the words. 
Once the changes are previewed, click on Apply to apply emphasis to the words in your sentence. This helps your voiceover sound more natural, as words tend to have inflections when spoken. The second, and a very important feature that's available at the sub-block level is the pronunciation feature, which lets you customize the pronunciation for a word. To change the pronunciation for a word, double-click on the word to access the pronunciation menu. Here, you can either choose a different pronunciation from the list of studio-generated suggestions, or you can create a custom pronunciation and add it to the list of pronunciations available for the word. Now select the pronunciation to apply it to the sentence. To make a default for the entire project, select Apply to Project. This change can be overridden by applying a different pronunciation to the sub-block. Pronunciation feature works best at the sub-block level. This is because when multiple sentences within a paragraph contain different pronunciations for the same word, alternating between different pronunciations becomes difficult. This eliminates any scope for confusion and is particularly useful in cases where abbreviations and company names are used in the script. Different voice and script options can be accessed at both block and sub-block levels. You can download your audio in different qualities and formats at the block level and can download a default MP3 file at the sub-block level. You can also download your script at the block level in different formats. The voiceover can be previewed at each of the three levels before the export. This helps. Click on the hollow play button to generate the voice. This can be done for each block, in sub-block, or for the whole project. The solid play button indicates that the audio is generated and is ready to be played. If you are building a video which is meant for children or some other specific demographic, it becomes very relatively simple to choose between voices. To generate a preview of the whole project, Click on the hollow play button in the bottom panel. Below the bottom panel is the timeline, which allows you to align and synchronize your voiceover with soundtracks, videos, and images. This helps you create voiceovers with soundtracks and create voiceover videos and presentations. The play button above the timeline lets you preview your voiceover with your soundtrack or your video. Voices provide an identity to your brand or product. When you choose a voice, it becomes the bridge between your audience and you. Chosen right, they can build a fantastic connection with your audience, but a non-relatable voice can totally alienate your audience. To preview your voiceover video, expand the preview panel on the right. The volume of your audio and video can be adjusted in the volume mixer. Click on the speaker icon in the bottom panel to adjust the volumes of your video, voice, and audio. The blocks here represent the blocks created in the script editor. The block settings can also be accessed from here, and the voice can also be downloaded, duplicated, and rearranged. This really helps when the audio needs to be synced with sound tracks and visuals. That's it for this video. Be sure to check out our other videos.